Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie McDonald here with the Turnstile Review. Turnstile, what is that? Sling bag from Think Tank Photo. They just introduced these a couple of weeks ago and I've got just a really quick review for you of them. The one that you see right here that my hand is resting on that is in the slate blue color, that is the Turnstile 5. And that is the bag I'm going to give to one of my viewers this week actually. So look up my giveaway video on this YouTube page and you can find out how you might become the winner of it. So let's get into the details here. Turnstile is a sling style bag. You wear it across one shoulder. Uh, it's almost like a little pouch on your back, not quite a backpack. Um, Turnstile 5 is the smallest in the Turnstile line from Think Tank Photo. And I want to show you what all you can fit in this bag so that if you're the winner, before you even get the bag, you'll have an idea of what will fit in it. So right off the bat, I noticed that there's this little tag that says, Fits iPad Mini. I don't have an iPad Mini, but my son just happens to have a Nexus 7, and it fits in there perfectly. So, all the mini tablet toting people, rest assured you can fit a little mini tablet in there when you go out shooting. Two compartments on the bag aside from the little tablet compartment, the front compartment being where most people would probably store, I don't know, memory cards, spare batteries, things of that nature. There are a couple of little Velcro closed pockets in the front where you could fit business cards and batteries, memory cards, etc. But what most people are interested in is the main compartment. So here we have, this is the main compartment and this is what I actually took out on a shoot the other night. Only I didn't take this bag because this bag is yours, not mine. Um, so here's what we've got. In the Turnstile 5, I can fit an Olympus OMD with the 75mm 1.8 mounted. I can fit the 45mm 1.8 and I can fit my FL600R flash and the little uh, tripod mount for it. That was just all in the main compartment here. In the back of the compartment there's another little uh, spot right here that you can open up and store, I don't know, like a pad of paper business cards, pens, whatever. I don't know, your ninja throwing stars, that's probably what I'll keep in mind in my nunchucks, you know. So, Turnstile 5. Everything that was in there fit in there like totally with a ton of room to spare. Let me flip this over the other way so you can really get a good view. 45 millimeter. I mean, there's a boatload of room in there. I could put a much bigger lens in there than that. FL600R flash, again. That one was a little bit more snug until I kind of cocked it over on like a 45 degree angle. Uh, my OMD in 75 millimeter. If I'm not hung up on my eye cup there. Just drops right in. The little stand for my flash again. I just kind of tucked that back there. How does it zip up? Piece of cake. Fits like no problem. So if you're a full-size DSLR user, what are you going to be able to fit? If you rearrange the compartments in here, I don't see why you couldn't fit a DSLR in there, no problem. Uh, which DSLR? Obviously not like a D3S or something, but you know, like an entry-level Canon or Nikon DSLR, or one of the smaller Olympus Four Thirds DSLRs, those will fit no problem. Turnstile 5, this is the one I'm giving away. Turnstile 10, I had somebody else ask me about those, what the size of those are like. Obviously, 5 is smaller than 10, 10 is bigger than 5. 10 being the bigger one, it's just a bigger 5. Could I make that more confusing? Probably not. Front compartment. Uh, doing some nighttime photography tonight, so I've got my trigger trap in the front, and I've got an old Android phone that will be used in conjunction with that. Still plenty of room in here. In the other pockets, there's a little pen pouch where my lens pen will go, memory card compartment. Same layout as the other one, just a little bit bigger. Main compartment, again, this is identical to the five. It's just bigger. So in this one, um, I've got my pen EP5. I could fit my gripped OMD in there with no problem. Um, oh, I'm looking at my bag for it and I'm actually recording video with that camera, so sorry. Uh, other compartment, I've got like an adapted big old fisheye lens that fits in that compartment with no problem. I've got a macro lens in there. Again, all of these compartments are adjustable. You can move your dividers around how you want them to adjust them to accommodate whatever gear you've got. What do I think would fit in the 10? 
this bee would leave me alone, I would tell you. Um, I think I could fit just about anything I want to bring with me to shoot in this bag. Full-size DSLR, no problem. DSLR and an extra lens, not a problem. Uh, micro Four Thirds equipment, I could fit a boatload in there. So that's just a really quick, dirty rundown. I'm sorry it isn't a little more extravagant. I did have fireworks and dancing girls for it, but everybody seemed to cancel last minute. There you have it. Turnstile 5, Turnstile 10, slate blue, and this beautiful charcoal gray. I'm a big fan of the gray. Um, I guess a couple other things I can mention real quick before I go. I should at least uh, give you your money's worth out of it, right? Seems how it was free. The strap on the Turnstile 5, um, or the whole Turnstile line rather. I just want to mention the strap because I've never been a fan of sling bags. And since I've gotten this sling bag, I've realized why I was never a fan of them. I think that the strap systems on the other sling bags that I've owned was the reason I didn't like the sling bag. And something as simple as the tapered design of the strap seems to have made all the difference in the world. I don't know why the taper makes that much of a difference. It makes it fit better, obviously, and that must just be what it was for me. It was just something as simple as paying attention to the ergonomics and I guess the uh, anatomy and physiology of people, you know, it makes more sense to have it wider at the top, your shoulders wide, and then once it comes across your back, you don't need it to be wider right there. And I guess it just rests easier that way. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm telling you, that's kind of what has sold me on the sling bags from Think Tank, is just, they fit better. So there you have it. Uh, I want to give one to you guys. I want you guys to like the video. I want you guys to fire out a tweet with the hashtag that says T-Style 5 so that you can get the Turn Style 5 bag, okay? It's simple. You've only got a few days left, people, so get to tweeting, get to liking. It's your bag, baby.